Okay there.
Oh, Mr. Downs! Thomas Downs! 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 Where are you? Oh, Mr. Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm... 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 We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. How's that dead looking now? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
don't believe for one minute that you ever made it to Australia. Well, man, you'd be right. I never did. But I tried. Our firm I made Morgan. it as far as Chicago. Chicago ain't nowhere near Australia. No, just but it's on the way. I always want to see one of them kangaroos. Giant boxing rats who keep their babies in their pockets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What kind of lunatic thought that of? <laughs> That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe we'll head over there one of these days, hmm? Huh? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. Mm. <laughs> Please, you got some Come speaking on. to you do your me own. And help me. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I, I told you, mister. I told all he is. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. You got the fear of God in me. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. 
Take this track up through the rocks. How are you holding up, John? You're fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this gang. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey. There, there. You see?
cabins in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing? About the pisser, Morgan. One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. He's down. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out at a distance. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing. said Cone be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Give it up. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, I mean, 
If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
Oi. Howdy. Just admiring your horse there. Thank you. Wondering it's how an idiot like you room. ever got a hold of it. Now, what are you trying to pull with me? Shut it! <laughs> yep. Look out! in time. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Just had to ask for help, huh?
How there, mister? Easy, whoa. You ain't tough, my friend. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. The place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one has been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now.
How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Hey! Whoa! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. <laughs> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the plate. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon.
Get on, dear boy. Everything we needed. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. Take it easy, yeah. Arthur. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Slow down, you, you'll burn out the horses. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. All right, girl. Hey there! How's it going? Good to go. And I'll get it. If you make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take Lily. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. <laughs> Bitch. Uh. Come on, that's enough. Uh. You don't have to do this. Uh. No, Take it 
off of his dead body, you son of a bitch! Hey! You, know you what got I your money! Leave, leave me alone! I didn't steal that! It's a debt! Oh, damn it! What do you want? Can't a man have some peace? Like, Where do you think you're going? Stop! Hey, just walk Don't away! Don't make this difficult. Keep your mouth shut about this. You're about to get your face. Don't you test me. You want to die? Just... Ah! Oh, come on. For the love of God! You got this up or wrong? You got... Let's go. Yep. Move. Whoa, easy there. You Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, shark. Better take me somewhere good, or ah, uh, suppose there ain't much I can do. Yeah. 
Easy. Come on. Look. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's get. Come on, girl. Ain't supposed to be here. Get lost. Okay. Come on, the girl. Get him. Should just be wandering around.
by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my study.
Get the horse out of here! Just calm down. Ah! Ms. Gaskill. Hi, Molly. Hey, Hi, Javier. Right, Javier. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hello, Arthur. Hope you're working on a plan there. Always. Anyway, won't disturb you. All right, then. Here. Wait. Yeah. Mister? Go away. All right, simmer down. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? All right. Get up.
Okay, girl. Yeah. Back for some more provisions? Have a look around. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. Stop by if your needs change. Well, Good to see you back. Anyway. but no point shopping around. Good to see you again, Fern. What can I do for you? Well, let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. You'll see a few people in town with that, too.
you go for some poker. Perhaps you could join me later in Smithfields. You love it. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Fine piece. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Carry it with pride. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Mm-hmm. Now this should be fun. Oh, wait. Bye. Hey, hey, let's talk about this. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama for a lack here. You might want to quit that. That drunk's got mean friends, believe me. Oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. I appreciate it, Arthur. No sense of humor, the fellas around here. How drunk were you? Just normal drunk. Anyway, I should probably hit the breeze. I'll be at camp if you need me. Hello. 
thirsty again, are you? You know, he ain't a bad feller, all things considering. That man's head's going soft in his old age. You better watch out for him. Hey, fellas. Hey, and what do you want? Have a nice evening. Thanks. Let's go, girl. This your way of stretching your luck? What is wrong with you? There, girl. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Now you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Even you, Arthur. Mr. McGuire is back. So come on. Let's have ourselves a party. We're back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean Amazing. is back. Hello, and ladies. Don't you worry, Miss Crenshaw, you all crawling. Hi. How's it all going? Mm, not bad. To Glad to hear it. All right, Uncle. Did you get a bump on the head, Chief, too? All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Uh, I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> yeah, come on. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Let's drink! Evening. Uh -oh, Evening. How are you doing? Fantastic. Mind if I join you fine folks? I suppose. You're looking lovely Ladies. as ever, if I may oh, say so. That pistol new? How are you holding up? I can't complain. Good for you. Sure thing. So, what now? Come on. You're sounding good. <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let Listen, my friend. <laughs> Do you lot. know the Louisville I'm lady? Irish enjoy the party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Upon her toe, mark well what I do say. She says, Young man, you're rather low for the tail, little, 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 little day. I put my finger on her knee, mark well what I do say. She says, Young man, you're rather free for the tail, little, 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 little,
Miss Markwell, what I do say? She says, you man, you're in great. Oh, the day, the day, the day, the day, the day. Put my hand upon her thigh. Markwell, what I do say? She says, you're getting pretty nice. Oh, the day, the day, the day, the day, the day. Put my hand upon her ass. Markwell, what I do say? She says, let's lay down on the grass. And It's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we was going to see you again. Uh, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, Look at me. With the best. Oh, stop it, you. Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Say, <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, it's okay to dance. It doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. So what you think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> oh, look at him. Well, 
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. My dear. Well, thank you. Thank sir. you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sounds good. Molly. Hiya, oh, Arthur. How are you? Mr. Oh, Morgan. lovely. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. All right. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are things? I couldn't be in finer fettle. That's the spirit. Whatever you say. Whiskey too. Let me ride on the ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. Her come in angrily said, Now you have lost your main head. Pack your bag and tote bags too. Make your little ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round. Pussy cat, got a hole in the middle and split it in two. That's what you call a ring dang do. She went off to be a whore. Hung this sign upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Take a crack in a ring dang do. A ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and split it in two. And that's what you call a ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. <laughs> okay, Javier. So what happened to Trelawney? Disappeared, as usual. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Art. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. You know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. You didn't need much excuse. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. And I'm sure you will. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Catch up with you later. You all right there? Yeah, I might have overdone it again. <laughs> oh, Reverend, Reverend. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. 
You know it's me from the bad handwriting. Let's go I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side on him. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about market. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, uh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. If you say so, Arthur. Whoa! Here we 
we are. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink, no big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Who's just trying to be friendly. <laughs> your mouth, mister.
not you again? No. again. Come on. Every time. Smooth. Yep. Pete, stay right there.
Good-looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Holler if you need any of them. We'll get one saddled up. I'm very well, thank you. Good. Yep. Been too long, girl. Hey, what's with you? You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you, you pay at? the O'Driscoll boys. I made it. You Looks two like you can't need win. a lesson. <laughs> You're gonna beg me to end it. Let's go home, fellas. Eat this! Wasting my time. Get it. Go away, will you? 
I'm not talking to you, because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me?